Yo, 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 yo. So check it, right? We see that the weather is changing. Places where snow is at, snow is melting. The weather is trying to, to, uh, to get better and everything. Right now, down here in North Carolina, the temperature is like 73, 75 degrees. It's nice. So you know what that means? Everybody's breaking out the bikes. And I am so damn jealous right now. Oh man, I wish I didn't sell my bike as quick as I did. I'm a rider, y'all. That's what I do. All right, I've been riding since I was, I, I think I rode out my mom. You know what I'm saying? That's how long I've been riding bikes. Four wheels, I hate, I truly hate getting in a, in a, in, um, a car. I, I can't stand it. I hate being boxed in. I feel claustrophobic when I ride in a car. I love riding bikes, man. I've been riding bikes all my life. That's what I do. You know? I sold my bike because I was in a bike club once upon a time. Um, let's just say uh, some stuff happened in the bike club, man. So, in order, I called myself starting over from scratch because looking at the particular bike I had at the time, was just basically hold, holding on to a lot of bad memories. So I sold the bike to start over, all right? So right now I'm currently in, uh, working on getting me another bike. I'm close, I'm real close. But I, I'll be back riding soon, okay? But um, just seeing everybody out here on their bikes, man, it's like, I could be talking, like I'm talking to you guys right now. A bike roll by, I forget my whole train of thought because my focus is gone because I'm just so much into damn bikes man I mean I just I just love riding but that just makes me think of um a story about a long time ago man when I when I very first got into my first bad accident when I'm riding motorcycles um this was back in uh, 92, 93, somewhere along those lines. But uh, excuse the glare, everybody. Got the sun behind me. But anyway, so got my first bike. Got my first bike. Uh, it was a Honda. Had a little uh, 900 at the time. Okay. That bike was my everything, all right? I rode that bike everywhere. Any way imaginable, I rode that bike. Let's fast forward. My homeboy and all the homies who had bikes, this is when we started learning how to um, pop wheelies. And if, 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 if you know anything about bikes, man, you know that's like one of the coolest things you can see somebody doing a damn bike, pop a wheelie. All right, pop a wheelie and everything. I mean, to people who are into bikes, it's cool. If, if not, that's fine too. That's not your thing. It's not your thing. But we we love it. All right. And for the most part, when I mean, when I, when I got over the fear and everything, and I, and I and I learned how to do it, I was good. You know what I'm saying? I was good. When we said we used to walk walk for blocks. You hear that term a lot. You know what I'm saying? That was us. But I was always good on the straightaway. On the straightaway. My homies and everything, these dudes can walk around curves and stuff. I didn't master that just yet. But I thought it was simple. Watch them, I was like, hell, I can get it up. Go around a curve, shouldn't be a problem, right? Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. Because this, on this day in particular, it had rained the day prior. It rained the day prior, and we had these big canal ditches on the side of the um, on the side of the, uh, the highway. So these canal ditches were like full with water. That's going to come into play in the story in a minute. <clears throat> so here we go. We riding and everything, and uh, boom, here we go. We on the we on the straightaway. And all of us, it's like, I think five or six of us, boom, all of us up, get it, right? 
then here come this curve. I was the last man back. I saw the, I saw the homies and everybody hit this, hit this, this curve. One wheel around the, around the um, corner. So here I go. And it was just like it was that fast. But here I go. One wheel, and I, I'm on this corner. I'm, I'm on this curve. And the thing about walking on a curve on one wheel is all about body position. Because instead of shifting my body position the opposite direction of the curve, I lean into the curve. Like if I was on two wheels going around a, going around a curve, on one wheel you have to do the complete opposite. And by the speed I was going, and when I shifted my body, my, my whole momentum, I threw it off. All right? And once that bike started to do this right here, it was too late. I couldn't even, I couldn't, I couldn't recover fast enough. So the bike went one way and I went the other way. Now for, for me, this is where everything go, went, went blank. And the story picked up, the story's gonna pick up from where my homie was telling me what happened. He said when he looked, when they got around the corner and they, boom, touched down and they looked, they said that when they looked back, they said they saw me flying through the air. They didn't see the bike, they just saw me flying through the air and I hit that damn, that uh, the canal ditch full of water. So everybody stopped of course and turned around and came back. They said, my man said, I stood up out of the water. He said, I must have took, I must have took like two, two or three steps and I fell back down face first. He said, my clothes was tore off my body because yes, people, we didn't wear any kind of jackets, no stuff like that. Helmets, yes, but no protective gear, nothing like that. Yeah, I know. But um, he said, yeah, dog, your clothes was tore off your body. And I was like, damn. And they said, when they went to look for my bike, my bike was in pieces, like pieces. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't like Mr. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Potato Head. You couldn't put that back together again. That bike was through. Okay, so of course, you know, they called the Paramex and everything. Damn it. Damn. Sorry about that. I gotta give me a mount. But yeah, called the Paramex. Paramex came out there, um, scooped me up to, to the hospital. I didn't have any broken bones, but I had a concussion and I was bruised up pretty good. What saved me was all that damn water. I know I hit that water like a damn brick because I was bruised the hell up. But that water saved me, man. And it just goes to show, man, you know, just because you think you, you might know something about a bike, either you respect that bike or that bike is gonna make you respect it. And that's what happened, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't, I didn't get scared. I didn't say I'm, I'm through riding bikes. No, when I got better, when I got well, and I was able to get another bike, that's, that's exactly what I did. I got another bike and I got back on and I rode again because I, I was not about to let that defeat me. That's what a lot of people do, man. When they, when they crash and burn, it's like I'm done and, they, and they're scared of it forever, but not the kid, you know what I'm saying? That just made me ride a lot safer, a lot, you know, smarter. I mean, after that, I, I still do it, but I just wouldn't go around curves anymore, you know what I'm saying? But, um, but yeah, man, that was my, my story, man. Another, another close call of mine and everything. Um, but, you know, I got a little older now. When I, you know, before I saw my bike, that's all I did. I just, just ride everywhere, just ride. That's all I did, just ride, ride, ride. No crazy stuff, just, I just rode. So when I get this, this this new bike, that's all I'm gonna be doing from now on. Just riding, man. You know what I'm saying? Just riding, just getting it in. But anyway, I'm done with that, man. You know, I kind of got kind of long with y'all guys. Skew the camera, fault and everything. But that's about it. So you already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Stand Up. Y'all be easy, and I get it, y'all later. Deuces.